AirPlay is Apple's great new media streaming technology that lets you stream your music, video, and photos from your iOS device to your Apple TV. AirVideo is an iOS app that lets you stream any video from your Mac or PC to your iOS device, converting it on the fly if necessary. So wouldn't it be great if you could combine these two things? Then you could stream any video in any format from your computer to your iPad to your Apple TV. But because AirPlay's APIs aren't yet available to developers, AirVideo's developer says he can't add this functionality to the AirVideo application. Fortunately, if you want to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can install a little hack that will let you stream anything from AirVideo directly to your Apple TV. Here's how to do it. This is very easy to do. First, you need an iOS device running iOS 4.2 or greater. You'll need to jailbreak your device, and currently Red Snow is the jailbreak method of choice for iOS 4.2. Once you're jailbroken, you need to jump into Cydia. Cydia is the package manager that should now be installed on your device, and download Air Video Enabler. You don't need any special repositories, you should just be able to search for it, download, and install. And that's all you need to do to make this work. Just make sure you restart your device before you expect it to work. Air Video Enabler doesn't work perfectly, however, so let's take a quick look at how you can use Air Video to the best of its ability to stream media to your Apple TV. First things first, the bit rates don't matter here. The iPad we used could handle the highest setting in Air Video, so long as the computer converting and serving the video can keep up. So feel free to tell Air Video it's okay if it wants to stream at the highest possible bit rate. For reference, that's 2,560 kilobits per second, and you can set that in global settings in the Air Video app. The only thing you really need to worry about is when you start streaming to your Apple TV. We found that if you don't let Air Video get a pretty decent head start of at least a few minutes in the conversion process, streaming will fail. If you let it convert for a little bit before you get started, however, it works like a charm.